Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about how dog poop and cat poop, as well as other types of pet poop, can make compost. Have you thought about how your dog's poop affects the environment? By cleaning up after your dog, are you contributing to pollution? In this video today, Jaime and I are gonna show you how to use Biodegradable's compost bin for pet waste and talk about the environmental impact that pets have. But before we get started in today's video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more pet videos. We hear it a lot more now, people talking about the impact that we have on the environment and how our choices of what we eat, what we buy, and how we clean our houses affects the planet that we live on. But have you thought about how your pet affects the environment as well? Your pet could be contributing to pollution depending on what you use around them and how you clean up after them. Dog and cat waste can be an environmental hazard causing bad bacteria to grow as well as even contributing to water pollution. Let me tell you a little bit about Biodegradables. This company is dedicated to helping cut back on plastic waste by offering a bio-based alternative to plastic bags. You might be wondering what this means. Well, think about when you are picking up after your dog. Your dog poops and you use a small plastic doggy waste bag to collect the poop and then toss it into the trash. It is estimated that plastic bags will take 1,000 years to decompose. So all those bags that you're using are going to be around for a really long time. How does it make you feel to have that kind of impact on the earth? Biodegradables offers pet waste bags that are made from non-GMO cereal flour and biodegradable polymers. These bags degrade at the same rate as natural compounds like food or dog waste for example. So when you use these bags to pick up after your pet, you aren't contributing to plastic pollution. And the soil is of course great for gardens and lawns. So not only can you use this as a way to eliminate plastic bag waste, you can compost your pet's poop and turn it into something productive while also taking that biohazard out of the environment. Now, besides being better for the environment, these bags are also tougher than regular plastic bags. They don't tear as easily, and it is a vegetable-based product that is all natural and chemical-free. So Jaime is going to show us how the composter works. When using your compost bin, start by using kitchen waste products, like food, and only use small amounts. This will get the composter going, so only halfway for the first few weeks. When adding waste to the composter, you'll use one cup of sawdust pellets and one tablespoon of baking soda per five to 10 cups of waste. Things you want to completely avoid are leafy green veggies like broccoli, kale, cabbage, as well as very fibrous items such as corn husks, hair, and stems. Other items that cannot be put in there are corn cobs, bones, lobster shells, and peach pits because they will jam the machine. You will get a full list when you purchase a composter. Great items to put in your composter include, but are not limited to, fruit and vegetable scraps, meat, chicken, fish, shrimp tails, cheese, eggs, including shells, and coffee grounds. Once you get the composter going, then you can start adding pet waste, including dog poop, cat poop, organic cat litter, and even hamster cage bedding. If the composter is too dry, you can add water, and if it is too wet, you can add pellets. The composter also has different settings depending on what you're using and how the machine is doing. You wanna click the transfer button is when you actually can see that there's mainly just soil in there not so much fruit, vegetables. You'll still see some, but you don't want it to be the majority. You want it to look into like soil, like dirt. And that a lot of has to do with, the, with your sawdust and your baking soda. And those two are just mainly used to control the moisture and control the bacteria in there so that there's less smell. So the AC power connector goes right here and it all comes with this nice green and it seems like all the board and everything's actually in the back so you don't actually get to see it. And uh, it seals very nicely. 
So that's really, really convenient. It does mention that certain foods such as kale, some of the green uh, leafy vegetables, it will cause it to cause more smell. So you try to keep away from those so that you can actually keep this close to you and it won't smell. So you might be wondering, how do you know that Biodegradables is a company that you can trust? The company has several certifications that show their dedication to fighting plastic waste. They are USDA bio-based certified and our Green America Certified Green Business. This product also supports municipal green bin programs. You can get your own compost bin as well as eco-friendly pet waste bags by clicking the link down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning more about how you and your pet can be more eco-friendly. And a huge thank you to Biodegradables, not only for supporting Happy Tales on YouTube, but for also working towards a greener planet. Please go check them out at their website and all their social media links that will be down below in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.